Welcome back aliens, this is Nagvin Reddy from Talisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about seek bar. So what is seek bar? So you can see in this output, uh, we'll try to do this. So if I drag it, so if I drag this seek bar, you can see the, uh, the value here is increasing. So it goes from 0 to 100 and we are also increasing the size of this text here. So as soon as you move your seek bar, it is changing the size of the text. Okay, you can change any, you can do anything with the seek bar. It's just a demonstration of how to use, how to use a seek bar here. Okay, so it goes from 0 to 200. You can achieve anything here. So let's see, uh, so let's see in the code how to do this. So now let's see how to do it. So what we'll do is in this, uh, let me create, so we have a view here, already have created that this view in which we have a text view where we have printed A and we have made sure that it will match the parent and we have uh, placed it in the horizontal center so that we can see A here. Now what we need one more thing here is a seek bar, right? So we'll, we'll drag this seek bar here. We'll keep it somewhere down the side. We'll keep a margin in between this two. So I will set a margin top as maybe uh, 100. So that we, we need a big gap, okay? Now, so what we'll do now is we'll perform some art action inside the Java file. So for that, we, need, we require two things. We require text view. Uh, we'll name this as TV, which is text view. And we require the seek bar. We'll name this as SB, right? And in this, let's create the object of this two, TV and SB. We'll say this is SB is your seek bar. So SB equal to seek bar and which is find view by id which is r dot id dot seek bar right that's the that's the name of this seek bar inside your uh, layout now next we require is tv so we'll set tv equal to which is your text view we'll say find view by id which is r dot id dot uh what's the name of the text view here okay it's value let's name it as Oh, we will keep it value, no issue. We will say this is value. Right? Now once we got this too, what we need? We need to add the listener to the seek bar. Now how to add a listener to the seek bar? We can simply say sp dot set on click listener. Okay, so since we want to, uh, not on click listener, this will be set on seek bar change listener. Uh, because we are changing the value of the seek bar, right? And then we have to say on seek bar change listener. It will give you three methods. One will be on progress change. So every time you move this seek bar one by one, it will call this method. And then before starting, before calling this method, it will say on start tracking, uh, on on start tracking touch, and then on stop tracking touch. So we'll not use these two methods. We can also use it, but time in will use this this method, which is on progress change. In fact, you can do some so you can do some experiment using these two methods. You can print some message, okay? But we'll use this on progress change. So uh, how to ch how to change the see every time you change the seek bar, it will change this one, which is in progress. Okay. So let's say if you seek if you move your seek bar to five, it will update this progress to five. Okay. Now let's uh, set the text. So I will say TV dot to, to change the text size. We can say set text size, and we can mention in size here. We can say progress, but it will be very small, right? It will move from one to hundred. So let's multiply this number by ten. Okay, so it will go. It will go beyond that. Let's make it five. Try to make it ten. Let's make it five. I guess ten will do. Let I don't know. The problem is sometimes your it, it makes your system down, so we'll keep it five into five. Okay. So if you run this code, your seek bar will work and let's let's check, let's try. And if I run this code in my Nexus 5x, so it will take some time to load. All right time, let me just pause the video. So this is the emulator. If I open this, if I unlock the simulator, you can see we got our uh, app here which is a which is the text and then this is your seek bar so now if I move the seek bar you can see the size of your text is changing okay so it is changing and then we got uh, it is go it's, it, it went beyond the limit because we have meant it we have said into five right so it is changing that text also 
So that's how we can use sigma to increase font size. So how it is working? Let's let's print the value also. Let me just print that progress bar. Let me just just print that uh, progress value in, uh, on uh, where, to, where to print. Let's take one more field where we'll where we'll print that. Let me just copy this code and paste it here. Okay, this will have a different value. We'll say this is uh, what? Now we'll say this is v. I'm not getting any new variable name. So this is v here. Uh, we don't want to keep it in center. Let's remove that. Let's remove the gravity. And we don't want to say this is match pattern. This is web content. So we got one more text view there, uh, which will have a value of the progress. And for that, we need to create the object here. So we'll say this is, so that's tv comma tv1. Right, and then we'll say this is tv1 equal to, we'll copy the same text and we'll paste it here. Okay, and this one will be v, right? And we want to set the text of this progress bar or uh, in the, not progress bar, but the sig bar in tv set text, and we'll set the text as progress will also to convert into string right because when you set set text it, it requires a string it, it will not support int so we have to give double quotes so that it will convert into in format let me show you something if i remove this uh, you can see we go we are getting some warning here oh it's working oh, that's nice that's nice it's working so i need to change it to string and we'll also set some text here we'll, we'll print a toast here so we'll say this is toast dot make text we'll say this is main activity dot this comma we'll print uh, started and here we'll say this is toast so that toast dot long or we will keep it short okay and now uh, let's run this let's see what's happening so if I run this code Oh, there's one more thing I have to change. Let's let's remove that into five, or let's keep it into. Or let's remove that. Let's see if I if I remove this, what what it will do. And if I removing if after removing that, let's run this once again. And then it will take some time to load. Okay, just load it. Let's run this. Oh, it's not working because of some error. So what is the error here? Uh, it is getting crashed because of a resource not found. Okay, that's weird. Uh, TV1 not found. But we have specified TV1. And inside this also we have mentioned V. Okay. Everything makes sense here. Why is the error? Let's put string there. I don't know if it's that issue. Let's run this once again. And let's try. Okay, so it's working now because it was string there. Uh, we cannot pass int, we need to pass string. And then if you run this, you can see we're getting, we are getting the output. And the maximum value you can go from zero, it goes from zero to 100, right? So that's your sigma sounds good so that's how you can use sigma in your project uh, it can be used for multiple use uh, this is one of the use of sigma yeah so that's it this that's it from this video and thanks for watching